So I used to use a spray bottle for the um, humidity in the turtles' cages. My girlfriend recommend I get one of these garden sprayers. So you pump it like a bunch of times. Fill it full of water, of course. Oops, and then adjust the sprayer. We <laughs> that on spray here. There we go. So I can pull it backward to do a manual spray, or I can click it into position and do an automatic spray. And the little guys love this, especially on a uh, when it might get a little dry in the house here. It's kind of wet their whole habitat. It's good for their shells. A little humidity. It's like a good little sprinkle in the wild. A little rainstorm. There you go, fellas. <laughs> Nipper likes a little shower. I mean, I use reverse osmosis water. And you see, um, the water gets here, but it leaves no hard water stains in their cage. Um, let me see. <laughs> she's actually drinking. That's funny. Here, you want some more? She's goofy with the spray bottle. She used to drink the water as I sprayed it. So, same thing. <laughs> and it makes her neck itch. That's cute. You guys are too cute. I'm going to pump this a little more here. There we go. Now we got a good spray here. Okay, some of the turtles like the spray, but some don't. Beard, he doesn't really like it, so I kind of like start on the edge here, just so we can get used to it a little. <laughs> it's like he likes it after the fact. I mean, he was hissing there a little bit. It's just water, buddy. He's a tub guy. He likes hanging out in the tub. He doesn't like showers. So there you go. Um, as I was talking about earlier, um, you can see how clear their cage is, even for me spraying, and it leaves no hard water stains. So that is one of the benefits of using reverse osmosis water. Um, so there you go. And like I said, you just have it on automatic, and you don't have to keep pressing. You don't have to keep squeezing a spray bottle. And hopefully this helps. Um, the turtles like it, and that's all that counts. Have a good day, everyone.